Hello, my name is Christian Dell. I'm from Estonia and I work as a junior researcher at the Estonian University of Life Sciences. The Estonian University of Life Sciences role within the One Forest project, which is funded by the Horizon 2020 program, is to lead and manage the work of work package number one. And work package one deals with uh, silviculture and management options for boreal and hemiboreal forests. Uh, boreal and hemiboreal forests are located in the north and they can be characterized by the low number of tree species which are growing in the forest and are able to grow in the forest over there. Uh, the countries, uh, the European countries in the region are rich in forest, uh, which means that they have the highest uh, forest area per capita and most of the European countries there also have over 50% of uh, forest cover. Uh, when uh, talking about Estonia, then Estonia is not the traditional uh, boreal forest, uh, is not in the traditional boreal forest zone, but is more in the hemiboreal zone, which basically means that it's a transition zone into the true boreal forest. Uh, so our forests are a little bit more diverse uh, with uh, mixtures of uh, conifers and pioneer deciduous uh, species. In case study region Estonia, most of the, the majority of the forests are made up uh, from uh, four to five different uh, tree species. Out of the conifers, uh, Scots pine and Norway spruce, those two conifer species uh, make up over 50% of our forest, and uh, the remaining uh, amount is mostly uh, made up from. Uh, downy birch, silver birch and also common aspen. Naturally the forest, the uh, boreal forest in the region would, re would uh, regenerate after wind disturbances or without the intervention uh, from uh, humans it would uh, regenerate after forest fire disturbances. Uh, so therefore the retention clear cut system uh, follows the close to nature uh, forest regeneration. Continuous cover forestry is uh, used to a lower extent in the region uh, and one of the main reasons behind that is the low nutrient availability in the soils in the boreal forests. The results that we're getting so far and the One Forest Project can improve our own research uh, dealing with clear-cut uh, alternatives uh, and also climate adapted uh, forestry. Uh, the modeling of the forest growth here can uh, help us to improve the recommendations uh, what to or how to do clear-cut uh, alternative forestry in the region or where exactly it's feasible to do it. Uh, furthermore, as there are many different regions participating and countries participating in one forest, we can uh, compare our results with them and compare our forest management practices with them and hopefully take some, some reasonable and uh, good practices back home with us that can also be implemented in the boreal or hemiboreal forests. The main challenges found in the region, region so far are actually dealing with the continuous cover forestry. Um, as the main limiting factor of tree growth in the forest is uh, nitrogen availability, uh, then we are having serious problems, having a vital regeneration after uh, uh, we do a thinning and uh, under the canopy of mature trees, uh, uh, the trees will not regenerate that easily and that can only be done on the most fertile sites in the region and uh, mostly is used in uh, small scale forestry and not, in the, not by the big uh, forest companies.